Hey guys, so I wanted to go over this Quizlet. Um, this was assigned on Wednesday to help you guys um, try to identify what type of heat transfer was happening by reading and looking at the examples. So we're going to go through some of these just to practice. Uneven heating causes wind. What type of energy transfer is wind? Um, on Monday, we talked about convection currents. Throughout the wind, the um, warm air rises and the cooler air starts to sink and it cycles. So it would be convection. The air in a balloon is heated and causes it to rise. Which type of energy transfer is this an example of? This would also be convection because of that cycle of air. Whenever you see air, um, with heat transfer, it's most likely going to be convection. Food is heated in a microwave oven through which type of energy transfer? So with this one, a microwave is sending out radiation. So this would be a radiation. What is the main type of heat transfer from a fire? So if you imagine sitting next to a fire, you can feel that heat coming off of it. And this would also be radiation. Which type of energy transfer is responsible for giving you a sunburn? So this is also when you are sitting outside and you feel the heat from the sun. You're not directly in contact with the sun. You are feeling the radiation. The metal handle of a hot pan would burn your hand because of which type of energy transfer? So that pan is in direct contact with the fire and then your hand is in direct contact with the, the um, hot pan, so this would be conduction. This is direct contact with the, the, the source of heat. The metal spoon in the soup is heated by which type of energy transfer? This would also be conduction because that metal spoon is in direct contact with the hot soup. Which type of energy transfer is caused by two objects touching or being in contact? So direct contact is conduction. The metal part of your seat belt burns your leg when you sit in a sit on it after the car sat in the sun because of this type of energy transfer. So the metal part of your seat belt burns your leg. So the um, I know it has sun here. I know you see this word sun, but the metal is already hot and it comes in direct contact with your leg. So this is conduction. When walking across the hot sand, burns your feet because of this type of heat transfer. This would also be conduction because your feet are in direct contact with the sand. The heat you feel from putting your hand near the fireplace is because of this type of heat transfer. So whenever you think of the fire or the sun, this is radiation. Ironing your clothes is possible due to this type of heat transfer. So your iron is in direct contact with your clothes, so this would be conduction. Blow drying your hair works because of this kind of heat transfer in the air. So remember when you see air, that most likely means um, convection. All right, that's all we're going to do today. There's um, 32 of these and we only went through 13. So make sure you guys are looking at this and practicing because you will have a test on this stuff pretty soon. All right, thank you guys. Bye.